who was the MVP of hip hop from every year since 2010? That is the question we're gonna answer today. Some years have a figure who dropped an enormous album or had a huge impact. In other years, there could be a variety of different artists and rappers that dropped equally amazing projects. I'm gonna figure out who I think is the MVP of that certain year. But let's get started. 2010, it's Kanye West. Do I even have to say anymore? I don't. 2011, a lot of newcomers just starting to make their mark in the hip hop industry. Kendrick Lamar with Section 80, ASAP Rocky with Live Love ASAP. We also got Tyler, the creator's Goblin, J. Cole with the sideline story. Ultimately, when it came to quality and impact and commercial success, there were really only two choices Kanye and Jay Z's Watch the Throne or Drake with Take Care. Ultimately, I went with uh, Take Care, which I think personally had more of that lasting impact. And also, it is a better album, in my opinion. 2012 is an easy answer. It's Kendrick Lamar. No one else can really compete with the legacy that Good Kid Mad City had. The closest we get is Joey Badass with 1999, but <laughs> it's not touching Kendrick. 2013, it's really a neck and neck race between Kanye and Drake. Again, I love Nothing Was the Same, but Yeezus is the superior album. Nothing Was the Same has quality songs too like a Tuscan Leather and it has the commercial success but the artistry and the ambition and the influence of Yeezus has to be respected. For 2014, the obvious answer is J. Cole with 2014 Forest Hills Drive, but that's not the one I'm going with. I'm actually choosing Freddie Gibbs and producer Madlib on their collab album Pinata, which is one of the best rap albums of all time. 2015 is an easy answer. It's Kendrick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly not only is considered the best rap album of the year, it's thought of by most music fans to be one of the best albums of all time. If Kendrick didn't drop this album, you could go with Drake who dropped two mixtapes, you could go with Travis Scott with Rodeo or Future with DS2, but yeah, there's no competition with Kendrick Lamar in his prime. 2016 is another stacked year for MVPs. If you're talking about pure commercial success, it's going to Drake for views. The biggest surprise is Chance the Rapper, who dropped the coloring book. That mixtape was also massive, and I think it ended up winning the Grammy. But yeah, ultimately, it's Kanye West. He's the MVP with his entire sprawling rollout for the life of Pablo. 2017 was a really creative and powerful and colorful year for rap music. A lot of impactful trap albums like Culture by the Migos, but there are three main contenders for MVP. There's Tyler, there's Jay-Z, and there's Kendrick Lamar. Flower Boy, 444, and Damn. All three albums showcase the change in style and sound from these rappers that many people love. But surprise, I'm not going with any of them. That's right, the MVP for this year is actually Brock Hampton, who dropped three fantastic albums in the span of one year, creating their own distinct Brock Hampton sound and image. You can't deny the legacy that Brock Hampton had on the music industry, on the hip hop industry, for at least a few years afterwards. 2018 was an incredibly strong year for hip hop. So many honorable mentions for MVP. There's the obvious Travis Scott with Astro World, Mac Miller with Swimming, Pusha T with Daytona, and, and also his beef with Drake, Denzel Curry with Taboo. But again, it's an easy choice. Kanye West actually dropped music on time and not only one solo album, but a collab album and three other albums that he produced. If that's not MVP worthy, I don't know what is. Okay, so this year, I would give the MVP title to Tyler the Creator. Igor was an incredible success both critically and even commercially, but Tyler even said it's not really a rap album, so if we're going pure rap, I know it's a cop-out answer, but only for this year, I'm going to make a tie between Tyler and Freddy. 2020 is a diverse year again, but I have to go with Mac Miller, who dropped his posthumous album uh, early on, and this album is just a perfect send-off. Uh, for Mac Miller. Okay, 2021 is very interesting. I'm not going with Kanye this time. Listen, I love Donda. It was such a monumental moment from that year with the rollout lasting two months to all the controversy. But there's another rapper who gave us not only quality, 
but quantity. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's Nas. He dropped two great albums with King's Disease 2 and Magic. Okay, this year is an extremely stacked list, and it was definitely difficult to choose when you take in all the different factors. Commercial success and quantity, it has to be Drake. If we're talking quality, it's Denzel Curry or J.I.D. You know, I originally wrote down Drake as the MVP, but I'm actually going with Kendrick Lamar. Not only was Mr. Morale an amazing and consistent double album, Kendrick also gifted us with one of the best singles and music videos of the year with The Heart Part 5. And lastly, we have 2023. I think this one handedly goes to Travis Scott, who dropped the highly anticipated Utopia, and it did not disappoint. A close second would be JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown, who you can argue dropped the better album, but overall, Travis Scott has to be the MVP of 2023. Popularity, quality, impact, he definitely came through on all fronts. And that is my video, all my MVPs of the past 13 years. Who do you think will be the MVP of 2024? Alright, peace out.